Hi, this is Mr. Evans. This video is um, looking at a question about big data and uh, it was actually done by a student in my class. To what extent does uh, the use of big data inevitably conflict with achieving an organization's CSR objectives? So what I'll do is I'm going to read uh, Grace's essay and I will um, just pick out the points that I think that Grace has done well and we can also talk about um, where I think there may be uh, potentially could be some improvements too. So um, Grace has started off this question by saying that big data is the process of gathering, storing and analysing large quantities of information and it has become a significant element in most businesses due to uh, its volume, velocity and variety. Maybe saying the vol volume, velocity and variety of data that organisations now collect or something like that. But it's clear that Grace understands the concept um, and now she's going to get on with answering the question. It could inevitably conflict with achieving CSR objectives. Now, um, Grace has made it very clear to the examiner that she is answering the question because she's echoing the um, words in, that are in the question. I would, I wouldn't use the word inevitably here. Um, the word inevitably, I would save until my conclusion. Um, I think it just reads better and makes more sense if it says it could conflict with uh, achieving CSR objectives. This way, um, it doesn't sound like a kind of robotic, just repeating the question. You're saying these are the reasons it might conflict. Then you might have a look at the reasons that it wouldn't inevitably, that it wouldn't conflict. And then you would deal with the inevitably bit in the uh, conclusion. So it could conflict with achieving CSR objectives because organisations may be collecting information without consent from its consumers. This is unethical as the consumer's data could then be used for any purpose, meaning that it's breaching their privacy and confidentiality. This is evident in recent scandals such as with Facebook, uh, which shared uh, their details of around 87 million Facebook users with Cambridge Analytica a data mining firm. This ultimately allowed Cambridge Analytica to build psychological profiles to target voters with political ads, potentially influencing their, their political views and how they vote in elections. This was a major data breach, with, which illustrates how large organisations have the ability through big data to collect vast amounts of information about their consumers and then manipulate the data to advance their organisation's objectives. I really like this chain of argument. It's well explained. It's very clear to the examiner that Grace knows what she's talking about. She's used an example to back up her point. And then a nice end to the paragraph here. Ultimately, this conflicts with CSR objectives because the collection and man manipulation of consumer data without their full understanding of what the data is being gathered goes against an organization behaving in an ethical manner and being socially responsible to its consumers. So corporate social responsibility, social, uh, socially responsible. It's clear that Grace is answering the question. She's um, done a nice chain of argument that she's linked back to it uh, there. So I've said that that's a good paragraph and it's well analysed. Another reason why big data could conflict with achieving CSR objectives is because the data can be manipulated to benefit the organisation. This is particularly the case with marketing, as an organisation can identify how the market is responding to products and campaigns. With this understanding, organisations can adjust key elements that impact their performance, such as their pricing and promotions. This is conflicts with CSR objectives because the organisation could use the data just to its own benefit rather than considering the needs of stakeholders. Um, now, I don't think that this point is as good as uh, Grace's first one, partly because um, I'm not entirely sure that it's unethical for a business to use data to um, advance a understanding of the market and implement things like such as pricing and promotion yes the organization is using the data for their own benefit but you could also argue that they're improving the products for their consumers so i'm not 100 percent sure that this is actually a conflict with good csr i think the point the second point that i would look to make um, could be about how collecting large amounts of customers data and not protecting it sufficiently could mean that that data is lost to hackers. This is a big concern. Uh, Organisations could be argued to not be behaving socially responsibly if they've got lots and lots of consumer data and they're not 
um, uh, meeting their obligations to these consumers by protecting that data adequately enough. This uh, data loss has happened uh, in relation to TalkTalk, Talk, and I think that's probably uh, the second point that I would make in this essay. Um, as I said, I'm not 100% sure that there's a clear uh, conflict here with CSR in terms of big businesses using data, the, the data that they've collected to improve their products and services. On the other hand, big data could possibly be used to benefit an organization's CSR objectives. So I like this um, start to this paragraph because we've got a nice um, uh, connective here, which shows the examiner that the essay is changing direction. And um, we're saying it could be used to benefit an organization's CSR objective, okay, rather than inevitably. Um, this is because the data collected can be analyzed to understand what consumer patterns and their habits are. This means an organization may be able to set CSR objectives based on the data collected through big data. For example, Tesco, one of the big four supermarkets, can gather data about its consumers through its Tesco club card. This enables the supermarket to target its consumers' needs and discover ways in which it can be more socially responsible. If Tesco see an increase in the number of customers consumers purchasing fair trade, it could use this data to stop more environmentally friendly goods. Therefore, this illustrates that big data can be help, used to help an organisation set its CSR objectives by gaining a greater understanding of its consumers' needs and discovering how they can contribute to sustainable development. Okay, I think this is quite a good point. Um, and I can, uh, Grace has built up a nice chain of argument explaining it. The one criticism that I would have of this point is, well, what if Tesco collect a load of data from their club card that says that customers aren't actually bothered about sustainable products and more people are, are picking uh, products for reasons such as price. Well, in that case, if Tesco's acted on that information, they would move away from sustainable products um, and it would ruin their CSR objectives. So I can see what Grace is getting at here um, and she's built a chain of argument. Um, I think the counter argument I would have brought in is that big data might be used to boost an organization's profits through enhancing its products and services, as Grace mentioned above. Therefore, businesses will increase their revenues. They can use big data to cut their costs through things like more effective marketing. So big data should enhance profits. And if the business uses those profits to reinvest in socially responsible products, then you could argue that it's it, it, um, used the big data it's collected to boost its profit, but those profits have been reinvested financially. Of course, you know, you'd have to make caveats about how they collected the data and um, and what they do with that data when it's collected, i.e. not selling it to outside organisations. But I think that maybe building a, a line of argument about how um, data can be used to boost profits and then those profits can be reinvested in socially responsible um, developments for the organisation. So... To conclude, if formal systems and policies are put into place and organisations use big data in an ethical manner, it does not necessarily achieve with, uh, it does not necessarily conflict with achieving an organisation's CSR objectives. Okay, I like this um, start to the conclusion. It's a very clear answer um, with a caveat in the middle. So we've got some balance in this sentence if formal systems and policies are put into place. Even though it is very difficult to know if an organisation is handling its data responsibly since mass data breaches such as Facebook, many organisations are tightening their privacy policies and ensuring that they use data legally. Excellent um, points. Um, many organisations tightening privacy policies, etc. Therefore, it could actually benefit CSR objectives as organisations... Um, we don't need that posture there. Uh, organisations can identify how they can become more socially responsible through monitoring their uh, consumers in order to provide benefits to all of its stakeholders by becoming a more sustainable organisation. Um, however, if organisations do not ethically use big data, it will conflict with CSR objectives and its reputation and relationship with stakeholders could be damaged in the future. So I think that Grace has done a good conclusion here. Um, she's got in a very clear answer to the question. She's supported that answer. 
um, by saying that uh, it could benefit the, an, an organisation's CSR objectives as they can become more socially responsible, providing benefits to all stakeholders uh, by becoming more sustainable. But she's also got some balance in there saying, you know, it needs to be uh, in the context of formal systems and policies being put into place. Um, and if they don't ethically use big data, it will be a problem for CSR. So there's a nice, clear um, summary to the question there. Um, there is, uh, you know, in the, the UK, there's a big thing called the GDPR regulations. I don't know what GDPR stands for, but if you've received, I'm recording this in 2018, you've probably received a load of emails if you're based in the UK over the last few weeks from companies talking about their privacy policies, which is all about how organisations manage their data. And um, so you could bring in these new GDPR regulations, which businesses have to adhere to, and that should make their um, use of data more ethical, which would be relevant perhaps in this question.